Hi. In this video, we are going to see how to move a linear axis on a Siemens HMI using scaled expression. In our case, we have a gantry system, a three-axis gantry system, and which looks like this. And for this example, I would uh, focus on one axis so that the video is not too long. So let's see the maximum stroke of this axis. I put three minus three hundred. So this. So the maximum and minimum stroke of z-axis is 0 and minus 300. And we would like to take a picture of only this axis so we can put it on the HMI. So how I did it in my case. So if I go here, then we go to right view. And I would like to move this axis out a little bit from its position. So I can take a clear snap of this one, TZ. Uh, 500 okay maybe minus 500 would be better uh, something went wrong here let's see what's happening T yeah Z is missing T Z 500 okay now we can get a clear shot of the Z axis we go to drawing select And there I have the picture. So yeah, using a uh, screen capturing shot software, I would take a screenshot of this. All right, save, download. All right, we saved it. Okay, now <clears throat> what I would do is go to the location where. I have this axis previously I have the, taken pictures of different axes which are here so in my case the one which I just took is here and click copy and then we go to our virtual machine which is this one and go to any drive for example download and paste the picture here I'll just quickly show how to import a picture into HMI so in this case we are here I have several screens in our in my HMI which is root screen screen 1a screen 1b screen 1c so I go here I would like to show you how these screens look like 50% okay this is my screen 1b this is my screen root screen 1a Okay, this is our 1A, screen 1A, and screen 1C. Okay, uh, for the example purpose, let's quickly see how to import an image into HMI. So, maybe we can use screen 1B because this is empty. So, here you can see in the basic objects, it's called uh, graphic view. Let's import this and then what you need to do is properties general and then import the image here so previously I worked with these images so they are already here and if you want to import a new image click in this icon and then the last time I put my picture here in download folder select open and here we have the image all right, and to move images, we need to use this animation object here, which is the movements. Okay, uh, this was just an example. So this is already kind of prepared here. Uh, if we go to uh, 1A, okay. So this is how, how this HMI works. If you can notice a little bit, this I am demonstrating the Z axis move. This is the uh, X axis move and this is the Y axis move and just a while ago you have seen how to import images so I have imported the images the same way I did before and then use the animation movement uh, techniques to animate the axis movements in HMI uh, just notice that here so to make this keep this video short I would just focus on Z axis and the rest uh, axes are scaled 
uh, in the same way. So let's focus here. We go to Z and the movements, vertical movement. Uh, notice that when the axis is down to this distance, which is actually here. So the start position of X is this, the X is this. All right, the X is this way and the Y is this way. Y start position is 355 here and Y start position is 480 here. Uh, notice something that the physical axis we see in the start of the video, the minimum uh, axis value is zero and the maximum is minus 300. And in this case, for the HMI, the minimum is 355 maximum is 480 355 480 I will delete this one and do that this uh, again so you can see how to do so select this values and then go to insert and then charts and then the second one scatter with smooth lines and markers click on it go to the plus sign trend line click more options then again trend line click more options display equation on chart and here Excel will generate the scaling equation for us this is the equation we need sorry a uh, function called uh, yeah called HMI jog value and here I have used the expression which we just saw how to create using Excel there is a minus I missed while copying so notice this expression is the same of this instead of X I have used data block one Z move and Z move is the real physical axis value while the movement of the gantry and in our case in our case um, green A you notice that the start value of this in, in case of movement is already defined 355 is here so, okay and the target position 480 but 355 is already here so in this case we don't need this 355 so what you can do in from this expression you can multiply it with zero but the idea here I just kept it as a reference okay our start position is in the right place otherwise when we start the HMI the picture will jump to other place so we don't need it because it's already defined there but this X this value we need to scale the movement to fit into the, our HMI all right so the same way the same kind of mm, technique we, uh, I used we have to use to uh, use Axel and generate the uh, scaling expressions and multiply the, uh, the actual physical axis value with the scaling expression and then it will be suitable to use in the HMI in this case this one and this one I did with the same technique all right okay so let's see how this is going to work uh, what we need to do is so it's better to compile first we would start the virtual PLC that is Siemens PLC sim When this light is on then we can press start search if we find this one then load the program into the virtual PLC load it and then start the module okay started then we can start the HMI okay so here we have the root screen and when we press this uh, it turns on the power of this gantry system. It's on. Let's go to manual jog. And if I select jog one, so it will go to a predefined position. So we can see the Z is moving. And XY is also moving. And in the maximum stroke, it came to its limit, which we have defined in our program. Alright, thanks for watching the video.